Recording with CineMaker is as easy as pressing a red button, but how do we set up a live stream? Uh, it's just as easy, although before you live stream, it's important that you get your streaming accounts set up to start your live stream. So uh, for Facebook and YouTube, we have a direct integration, and all that's required is logging in, just having your login credentials, and you can get started. For other services like uh, Twitch or Twitter, you actually have to go and create what's called a stream key and get the stream URL to manually put into the app. But let's take a quick look at it here. Um, the, to set up your accounts, you would act like you were going live anyway. So the first time you do it, it will ask you to set it up. You'll want to do this before your stream, not the very first time, but we'll click Facebook here. And the app wants to use Facebook to sign in. If you have Facebook on your um, tablet already, it'll just go and grab it and sign in for you. Oh, if you nice. don't, you'll have to type in your username and password. So it's connecting to Facebook very slowly. There we go. Well, I've already got my username and password saved here, so we'll go ahead, tell it to log in, and now it says, We've done this before. Do, would you want to authorize director pad again? We'll say continue. So now what I've done is associated my personal account, which has my Cinemaker account and other accounts, um, with this Cinemaker. So anything that goes out here is going to go on my channels. So um, once you're integrated, you see the screen. If you don't see the screen, you haven't connected to your Facebook account. Mm. Um, We'll get into the details here, but essentially you'll see that you can send to um, any groups you may manage, excuse me, any pages. Um, you can set your permissions. If it's going to your own home page, you can set it to only go to your friends, your friends of friends, or if you're just testing, you can have it only go to yourself. YouTube works just like that. Um, it wants to sign in to Google, so we can continue. Now, I don't know that I have my Google login saved here, or I have it completely committed to memory, so we may not complete this cycle, but let's see what, uh, what it comes up with. Um, choose an app to continue. Maybe we can get in here. Oh, maybe it knows my password. Oh, Google. No, it doesn't. Okay, so if you knew your password, you would log in. And then you would be able to stream to YouTube as easily as you can with Facebook just by setting your resolution, naming your stream, and hitting start. The other option um, for doing live streams, or, or uh, the other big option, is this manual RTMP. RTMP, I wish I could tell you it's something about real-time media protocol perhaps, but uh. it allow, it's the standard that all streaming services use. So if we're not directly integrated, you just have to seek out their RTMP URL and a stream key. And with the combination of those, you can direct um, Cinemaker to any destination. So you would simply type it in here, those two pieces of information, hit start, and off it goes. And of course, set your resolution to whatever you want to. Um, Blaster is a cloud service we have coming where you would basically uh, configure it to send to multiple destinations, and once you've had that configured, you'd hit Blaster, and off it goes. Um, but setting it up is that simple. Now, you'll want to refer to your, the website of the service. Twitch has details on how to create an RTMP key. Same okay. thing with Twitter or Livestream.com or any of the services. You'll, you, they'll give you the details. You punch them in here, and you're off to the races. Sounds good.